Hello everybody, so I'm Kirby here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is part 43. When we last left off in this game, uh, we were actually making our own composition for Todovsky or Toad of Sky or whatever the hell his name is. It doesn't matter what the pattern is, you can make it whatever you want. If you want it just one straight note the whole time, you can. If you want to make it just two alternating notes the whole time, you can. It has no effect on the game, it just, uh, just, you know, it's not really that important, I don't think. Uh, there might be another time in the game that the actual, um, song plays, like during the credits or something, but if so, I don't remember it, but I'm pretty sure it's just that song. But whatever. <clears throat> if anyone knows, uh, what it really does, then actually, you know, you can tell me if you want and I'll give you credit for it. Although there's a lot of stuff I need to give credit for that I've kind of forgot about. Uh, for one, um, the Pasta King actually t told me what the Ghost Metal does. Had a little trouble figuring that out last time. It um, really just raises your uh, defensive capabilities during the battle, I believe. And I believe the exact numbers are like it's, it uh, halves any damage that's uh, given by enemies. And it's kind of like a Geno Boost, the defensive uh, power up of a Geno Boost, so. And other defensive increasing items that are used for just like one battle. But, anyways, uh, we're going to keep going on to uh, the volcano. How do you get to the volcano? Well, just jump off the clouds and land right into the volcano. You know why? I don't know about you, but that's probably one of the worst ideas ever formulated by mankind. Let's jump from a high place into a volcano. That's, that's just... You know what? I don't even want to go there. Okay, so there are a lot of enemies in this uh, little area. And a lot of the enemies are actually, like... There's about, like... I want to say like 15 to 20 rooms of enemies and by the time you finish all of them you get like a little resting stop and then like immediately after the resting stop is the boss so a good portion of this level will be spent um, just trying to get to the area there aren't any hidden chests from my recollection I'm pretty sure there aren't anything you really need in this level so uh, there are a few frog coins every now and then, um, a few treasure chests. So there's a few things you can collect on the way. But otherwise, there isn't that much here. I'm trying to get that frog coin, as you can see, and I somehow got it there. But anyways, um, yesterday was Mario Madness, um, my live stream event of Mario games from the past. Oh wait, uh, to get that frog coin, just leave the room and enter it again from that side. And then you'll land whenever you hit the lava. Okay, anyways, back to Mario Madness. Uh, I'm not gonna talk very much about Mario Madness, uh, I talked about it in my last video. I made a video late last night, kinda just, you know, recapping the event and giving my thoughts and stuff, and... Just thanking all the community members for coming along and spending the day with me uh, and watching me play Mario games. It was a really fun event, I gotta say. It was really fun. I had a great time. Everyone I've talked to already said they had a good time, so I'm glad that it was enjoyable for a lot of people. It was a good time. And I'm, since it was such a success, I might very well do it in the future. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, Princess Peach grew up to level 17. Now, I actually had a little trouble here. Since this is actually the first time I played the game when I uh, recorded this video. The first time I played the game in like three or four weeks. And uh, I kind of forgot the order of the level ups. So I kind of picked uh, the wrong option. But, uh, whatever, it shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to still get pretty good stats in the long run. 
Oh, and by the way, that save point is only mocking you. You still, like, have about ten rooms to go before you're at the end. This is a very, very big area. Especially if you fall off the ledge and, you know, have to start over. So yeah, I screwed that up. I got, uh, g gave Peach and Bowser um, extra attack up and defense up. When I should have given them, should have gave them magical attack and magical defense ups. But no big deal. Let's see. I'm trying to think of other things that I kind of, uh, you know, um, neglected to talk about as far as uh, accessories go. Uh, feather, it, the feather that I missed, uh, that you get from, uh, beating the Dodo, uh, Dodo Dodge minigame in, uh, Nimbus Castle can actually, um, give you some defensive boosts as well. Uh, I believe they give you both defense and magical defense increasements along with speed, so that's not a bad item to aim for, to be honest. Um... Some of the pins, the, you know, like the true form pin, the antidote pin, and the, you know, pins like that. Some of them can actually give you some better bonuses. Like they, um, they, I don't know if they give like any attack up bonuses, but they definitely give you some, um, uh, defense up bonuses uh, for both, um, regular defense and magical defense. And I think that's kind of all I've kind of corrected myself with. Uh, the amulet, oh that's another thing, the amulet uh, does increase all your stats, but it lowers your speed. So yeah, that's all you need to know about. And uh, we've actually reached the end. Not really the end of the volcano, but the resting stop I talked about earlier. This is Hinopio, or Hinopio, or whatever his name is. That's the problem problem with games like these, because you don't know what they're saying. You kind of have to make your up your own idea and what the name actually is. Uh, he has three shops. The middle one is the inn, and uh, since there is no bed, you have to sleep on a bunch of boxes. We have a little, we have some cameos here actually. Um, as you can see, we have an R wing, uh, the blue falcon, and the fire stingray on that uh, those crates over there. Okay, we have the armor shop here. You can get um, the fire armor for all of your uh, characters. However, if you have the lazy shell now, uh, you might not want to buy um, whoever's uh, equipped the lazy shell. You don't want to really uh, replace that with the fire armor because the lazy shell is a better item, a uh, better armor in the long run. And we're going to sell some more items, because we don't need them anymore. And the last shop is the traditional item shop. You got some maple syrup, some mid mushrooms, and pick-me-ups, able juice, and I think the other one is, um... I want to say freshen up, but it might be something else. Yeah, we don't need bracers. Get rid of those pure waters. And once you unlock that door in Monster Town, you do not need the shiny stone anymore. So just go ahead and get rid of the shiny stone. The shiny, the shiny, shiny stone. So yeah, those are all the items really you can get. We're pretty much done with Hanopio right now. We can kind of leave. Right here we have another save point. Now. The boss isn't in the next room. Uh, you have to you have to pass by one more room to get to the boss. But at the very end of this room is the boss. Uh, in the next room, I mean. So I'm gonna stop the video up here because that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and end. Uh, this is Slim Kirby with Let's Play Super Mario RPG. See you next time for part 44 when we try to reclaim the star. Once again, if you have any uh, things you want me to correct that I've said wrong in the walkthrough, feel free to say and I'll correct you.